dark 30. How you doing? Well, the advantage or disadvantage is that I'm up at Odark 30. The advantage is I get off early, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, going to wake. Wake, wake, they go. I gotta pay for my toys. And other things. We'll see what life brings in the next. Next year, 2019, is going to be interesting for everyone. I don't know if you uh, think about what's going on in the world, but there's something afoot that's just uh, weird, interesting, and scary all at once. And uh, we'll see how things will play out. Anyways, gotta get toy. <laughs>Yesterday was gorgeous. Uh, Saturday was great too, which was good because we went to Warrensburg. And I thought I would take advantage of uh, the weather and come up on the upper deck here and enjoy it for a minute or so. Kind of wake up and uh, get a fresh cup of coffee.
Another gorgeous morning, getting that sun coming up over Volker Park and reflecting off some of the buildings around here. Gorgeous. Well, break's over, back to week. Weather's still beautiful. Independence, we joke around, we call it meth dependence. That's not so true anymore. I'm in Independence, Missouri. And um, I'm here helping my sister out, and uh, so that's done. And now I'm heading home. I think, I think about shopping at home online for some remote people who are on my Christmas list. And uh, the weather's starting to turn. My knee is aching. I guess I gotta get used to that. But the uh, weather is starting to turn. It's gonna get colder. But I don't think it's supposed to do anything precipitatory wise. So no ice or snow, I don't think. I don't know. I'm not a weatherman. Anyways, I better get to driving and get home. On the way home, we're cruising uh, US 24, also known as the National Old Trails Road. Uh, I spent many years coming up and down this road. I went to high school just beyond Missouri 291, which is where we're going to be heading north from. But, you know, it's got the interesting roadside architecture. It's uh, any of the US routes pretty much the same as Route 66. Route 66 is more legendary, but I mean, you find a lot of the same stuff on all these roads. Like, I love this Great Western Motel sign here. It's pretty cool. They just recently had a fire too. And years and years and years, the only place we could shop was uh, that, that was close to us. Well, it wasn't the only place, but the biggest place we would shop is Kmart and Kmart held out pretty long considering that the company itself is going belly up but uh, even this Kmart here shut down it's one of the last in the area and uh, there used to be a um, I believe it was a Perkins on this uh, corner over here by the McDonald's and I don't know what happened to it, but it's gone. It used to be a Furs cafeteria. I actually washed dishes at Furs cafeteria for a month. My illustrious uh, food service career, which I wasn't very good at. <laughs> That's gone too. I think the whole Furs chain went out of business. The whole cafeteria concept is... There aren't too many places like that anymore. But, uh... Um, Furs, I believe, was uh, owned by Kmart. And there's the Kmart. And now we're off of uh, US 24 and coming up on uh, Missouri 291. And over on the left is uh, Twin Drive In. And Twin Drive In has uh, a unique Googie sign. They used to be more common around here. It's uh, it's an arch. And um, I believe it was a lot of the same company that did it. And it's uh, it, it, it's a uh, homage to the St. Louis Arch. There's Twin Drive-In. A very classic googie sign. And I... Uh, I went to that drive-in quite a few times. You know, one time even snuck in with my juvenile delinquent friend many, many, many years ago. But anyways, and we're crossing over the Missouri River here at La Benite Park. This park over here is where we learn how to drive, but we're on the original span of 291 and I don't know how many years ago they, they built the new span over on the other side there. Thank you. 
There's the mighty Mo. They will take uh, 210 back into North Kansas City and home. A lot of Missouri routes here. I'm taking uh, 210 now. I like 210. It's kind of like out in the countryside but close into the city. It's I like it because there's not a lot of traffic on it. And I usually use this as a bypass. A lot of people are like, oh, no, you should stick to I-70. I don't like, you know, I like the back roads. So even though it's a little bit out of the way, it's uh, it's better than being stuck in the traffic on I-70. I used to take this to uh, back from work when I worked at the Medical Plaza back in the 1980s, if you believe that. And the last place I'm going to travel through on this video portion is North Kansas City. When we moved to uh, Kansas City from Louisiana, we used to come to North Kansas City a lot. My parents liked the furniture store up here that had been here for years. And we also uh, liked to eat at Gold Buffet as a family, which is no longer there. Seems like a lot has changed. But the downtown here is still very pretty. Even though parts of it are missing, they tore down a building and they let it fall down over here and built something brand new. Um, there used to be a building on the corner until about a year ago when somebody decided they'd like to take a smoke break during a very windy day and burn the whole thing down. But uh, up here is something very interesting. It's this old Art Deco building. There's a couple of neat Art Deco buildings down here. This one is the old Allen Chevrolet building. And uh, it's sitting empty now. I don't know what the owner is going to do with it. But uh, that's a neat building. And the Seaberg Muffler is the same. It's a pretty neat building too. But I'm almost home, so that'll be it for today. So, hee <laughs> hee.